Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm not going to keep any secret I'm about to go skydiving for the first time in my life I'm super scared, I'm super excited and happy at the same time I have not slept in the last two nights because of all this food so I kind of wait to finally do it and I don't know, I'm just eating a quick breakfast, just eggs I don't know what should I eat to be honest like I don't really want to throw up on like up there but like oh my god like i don't know if you feel this but i like i'm so excited so let's go to close to the sea because uh, this is where i'm gonna skydive and also i'm gonna skydive in a very beautiful place so let's go too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light running tired Guys, wish me luck. Good luck. Tell me everything will be okay. <laughs> okay, bye bye, guys. Oh my god. I cannot believe I'm about to do it. I just cannot. I'm, I'm so stressed about that. Okay, I checked in. Now I have to wait for a round and now I. Too bad. What are we doing today? We're going skydiving. That is correct. We're here at Skydive by the Palm. We're going to go up 4,000 meters to throw you aside. How does that make you feel? I was super stressed before. Now I'm already okay and I just want to do it fine. You ready to go, yeah? Yes, I May am. Maybe a little nervous later on Maybe when the door opens. a bit, but yeah. yeah. So is there a reason you're jumping today or just for uh, fun? It was my huge dream for the last maybe five, six years. I even printed a picture oh. of skydiving, especially in the pond. Like yes. I'm above the pond. So I'm very happy to finally fulfill my dream. All right, well, it's definitely going to happen today, all right? Yeah, so did, did you understand everything your instructor said? What? Did you understand everything? Yes. Yeah. Do you yes, have any, any questions good. for us? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, nothing to do but to do it. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. I did it. I'm still shaking. I'm not joking, I'm still shaking. I still can't like him down. It was one of the best things I've done in my life. One of the craziest ones. It was absolutely amazing, oh my god. The view, the view is perfect. I felt a little bit like throwing up because we were fall, falling down so quickly. 
but it was like it was amazing i can't describe it i can't describe it it was friends one day in your life you should do it oh my god you just see me like i don't know my heart is still shaking so much adrenaline but it was so amazing it was so amazing <gasps> i did it i really did it oh my god I think it was one of the best things I've done in my life and I definitely advise you to go skydiving here. I can't believe I did this, like the person who is afraid of everything, me, for, like jump out of the plane. By the way, true and funny story, just right before jumping out of the plane, um, my instructor and I were being connected to each other, so with the straps. And the thing about the straps, uh, when he did everything, I could easily take take off my straps and i'm like is it how it should be <laughs> he was like yeah he tried to do stuff he's like well actually it does the very maximum so we have to jump like that and in 30 minutes 30 seconds we we jump out so i was so stressed because of these straps i was holding it like so strongly and i you have some uh, some marks i left on myself some scratches because even in the video you could see that i was holding it like that so i have a uh, just like that but it's I don't know it still was amazing and in the end of this video I actually wanted to make some announcement uh, that um, I don't know even how to say here I don't want to be dramatic but I'm actually leaving Dubai now so unfortunately it didn't work out and sometimes it's very difficult to admit this but that's what happened when you think you can calculate everything, all pros and cons and all possible moments and solutions to some problems, there are always some new that appeared. And unfortunately, what not my friend, not me, were thinking about is actually a World Cup in Qatar. And you know, it's a big championship uh, and a lot of people from all around the world are gonna travel to Qatar and most of them are gonna stop in Dubai. So in the last two weeks, the property prices increased for um, approximately one and a half times, which is like, which is crazy amount because the prices uh, for properties already like been very high in Dubai and now it's even higher. So our plan was to stay for one more month in Dubai to try to find a job because we've been to different interviews. We didn't find anything good. So we wanted, we wanted to give ourselves a second chance to try for one more month. But in the last two weeks, because the price increased so high, unfortunately, the best uh, apartments we found next to Metro. And once again, it's very important to live in Dubai next to Metro because public transport don't work here. If you're not living next to Metro, you have you need to have a car and we don't have it. I can't drive here with my Russian license. So the cheapest option we found is a thousand and nine hundred dollars for a tiny, tiny studio in the Pakistanian district. Yeah, that's uh, that's so true. And I don't know, like we've been super sad. We haven't slept for many nights recently. We calculated everything. And my f Russian friend and I made a decision that it's better to go to another place. The is amazing, there are a lot of advantages, but the most important thing that you need to have a car here and actually a good job. And the jobs, uh, about the jobs, by the way, that why it didn't work out like as we hoped for, because what you also should understand is that in Dubai it's all about references from others and connections. It's incredibly difficult to find a job here if you don't know anyone from that company. Of course you can, we've been to a few interviews to some Russian companies, they were ready to hire us, but the salary is quite low, so we said no to that. But if you want to go to international com companies, either you are being transferred from another country, either you have some reference here or some like some good experience of working in Dubai before. Unfortunately, we didn't have any. And this is something that no one is, was talking on the internet and no one was talking in any articles and blogs that I was actually reading a lot about that it's all about connections here and like nowhere in other countries. And so yeah, it's, it's very sad, but this is life and I don't know, like, I feel I'm okay. I fulfill my dream. So now I feel like this trip wasn't like, you know, it wasn't for nothing. We got an experience, we met new people. So it was interesting month and yeah, 
I'm ready for another chapter of my life in other countries. And probably later I will take a week or two break to set up in my life in a new country where I will probably gonna spend six months. So I'm gonna see in a few weeks.